So the question is again, how come odd number would only have n petals? And when n is even, there will be two n petals. Why not three n? Why not four n, but just two n? I think we need to ask the question. Okay, of course, uh, does it matter much? Not, not really, but I think it's a good question to ask. Now, and this actually will help you answer some questions. Now, if I make this, if you like look at this graph, uh, let me make it simpler. Uh, so let me uh, go ahead and change the coefficient, change the n to a three. Now, so let's just say we have this uh, three petal rows right here. And I'm gonna do such, I'm gonna do a trace function. So trace, it's uh, right here, trace, uh, graph trace, okay? Now, if you look at the bottom uh, right-hand side of the screen, it says zero radian. So at zero, and this is sine function, it starts in the middle. Now, I want you to pay attention to the pointer as I do the trace. So I'm gonna to move to the right, and the angle would start increasing. And you can see the pointer is traveling around the pedal. And now it's done traveling the first pedal and then it goes to the second one. And you can see the angle, now it's 1.5 radians. And it keeps on going. And then at the end of the journey, it goes back to the, uh, well, it's not really going back to the uh, middle one because there's 3.1 radians. So it's almost 3.14, almost pi. So you can see, uh, let me go ahead and do the graph trace, uh, trace step. Let's do uh, 0.1, no, 0.01, sorry, 0.01 right here. So you can see that 3.11, 3.12, 3.14. So from zero to two pi, uh, well, zero to pi, from zero to pi, it completes the entire shape. What happens after pi? It keeps on going on the same path. So what's happening with, uh, with the uh, n being an odd number is that uh, you have this, uh, you have this, um, this function. Uh, it will complete the whole shape from zero to pi. And then from pi to two pi, it's just repeating itself. Now, here's another thing I want to point out. Looking at the work that we have done earlier here, I just asked one question. I just asked sine three theta equals to one. I should have asked the other question, which is, well, I mean, the R could be really long when R is equal to negative two, right? Or when sine theta is equal to negative one, okay? But why didn't we ask that question? Well, if I ask that question, you will have, now let me, uh, let me go ahead and illustrate this for you here. So if I ask sine three theta, sine three theta equals to negative one. So three theta would be uh, three pi over two, uh, seven pi over two, and then uh, 11 pi over two. So theta would be pi over two, uh, seven pi over six, and then 11 pi over six. Now be careful that this is what happens when sine three theta is equal to negative one. That means the R is gonna be negative. So if you look at pi over two, we're like, oh, so when it is pi over two, which is this direction when it's pi over two, the radius will be negative two, which means we're talking about the same point that we plotted already. So, so if you wanna be smart, we're making your graphs. So here's a little additional advice for you. If you can retain the information for n equals to an odd number, when you do your graph, you only need to do from zero to pi. You don't have to do the full blown zero to two pi thing, just zero to pi. 
But when n is equal to even, you have to go all the way to two pi in order to cover the entire shape. Okay, now let me show you, uh, let me show you the, uh, the actual example here. So if I change the, uh, the number of petals to, uh, well, I'll change the n to two, so we have four petals. And then now let's do the trace again. Uh, let's do the trace step back to uh, point 0.1 so that I can graph faster. So let me see, let's go back to zero. Okay, all right, so, so again, it starts from the origin and it goes to the uh, pedal on the qu in quadrant one and then quadrant four, and that would be the journey from zero to pi, only two pedals. And then from pi to two pi, it will be the other two pedals. And that's the reason why for n equals to even number, you will have to draw all the way from zero to two pi. Okay.